religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. Myanmar is a country in Asia with a population of 54 million people and it is also a member of the International Ministerial Congress of the Church of God's Seventh Day. A predominantly Buddhist country, Myanmar shares its borders with India, China, Bangladesh, Laos and Thailand. And it is in this environment that Jesus Christ is moving in the lives of more people. Now while the Church of God's Seventh Day is not officially recognised in Myanmar, the government does permit the church's orphanage to provide care and services for underprivileged children. Over the past few years, Tlung Kung, the church's general secretary, has overseen various projects designed to assist the church there. Brian Clayton, executive director of the International Ministerial Congress, recently visited several churches in the Kalei Valley of northern Myanmar, where he interviewed one of the widows the local church is helping assist. Name is Tuanne. She is a widow. She came to this church some years ago. She was a faithful, she's a faithful member of our church and she works very hard for the church also, like cleaning and she also do some of, uh, sometimes she did the cleaning in other houses also to earn her, to make her living and sometimes she also goes to the hills to do some works, get the f branches for firewood and this is how she's struggling and she lived about she had been living in the church compound for some years, but when the wind blew off the small tent and she had no place to stay, and they asked me permission to stay in this compound, in this land. And I said, oh, this is the church property. Uh, yeah, she can stay here and as a keeper. <laughs> and also she did a lot of cleaning, cleaning the grass much more than I expected, for which I'm very grateful to her also. Mm -hmm. um, she is eight, uh, 68 years old now. Mm. And after her husband passed away, she came to this church and she lived in the church compound as a widow and for her living, she worked in some of the church compound in our church, clean it and clean the grass, remove the grass and and this is how she finds her living. Uh, she said, her arm, this, this, this wrist, wrist is broken and since it was broken, then she could not walk like before. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. เนี่ยเอ่อเนี่ยเอ่อเนี่ยเอ่อเนี่ยเอ่อเนี่ยเอ่อเนี่ยเอ่อเนี่ยเอ่อเนี่ยเอ่อเนี่ยเอ่อเ
since she came into this church after her husband passed away, she worked here and cleaned all this, you know, helped the church clean and the church in return support her as what the church can do for her. Like they constructed a small hut there. Mm -hmm. She lived there a couple of years. But this year, when the monsoon began, the wind blow off the hut, and then she, she could, she had no place to live. That's why she, the church, helped her build this small hut, and now she's currently living in this land. Okay. So. Um she, she's, um, what is her situation going forward? What, what, uh, does she have hope for something, uh, in her, um, that she can do for the, is she can, does she have a vision for what's ahead for her life? What ตุมตะนุมตุมตะมีในในละอาจิมตุมตะอ่าอ่าสวดสิละอาร์คะเลฮะอปูร์จิงจิงเวซุนอาติเวนเกนกะเบคะมุจุกตะลองลองสิติก
Bye, bye, Zia. Zui. The reason why she came to our church is because she found the truth in this church, and this church is based on the Bible. Mm -hmm. This is how what attracts her okay. to become a member of this church. Did she have a friend or somebody that invited her, or how did that happen exactly? Nobody invited her? Nobody invited her. She just came to the church? Yes, okay. by herself, her okay. own. Okay. Um, are there, a, I guess a, another question would be, are there, are there, how does she see, does she see a lot of other people, does she, does she see, are there many other widows in this country, and how can the church support widows in this country and for the for the benefit of, of obviously the the gospel work uh, but also assisting women that are in her situation what does she think about that I am not getting your point she's a, she's a widow mm -hmm. and how does she see the church re, uh, assisting other widows that are in a similar situation um, number one and then number two how does she see that being a way to that the church can have a make an impact in this country, bring more people to Jesus Christ and, and into the Church of God Seventh Day. Mm -hmm. ที่ค่ะเรียนที่สอนหมู่ด้านที่ค่ะเราสุดโอ้โหเลยเท่านั้นที่ก็ยังเอาให้ความสมัยนี้มาอีกจังอ่ะมีให้ส่งอืมส่
children are alive. <coughs> Remain alive. Yes, they are alive now and living in another village. But she had three children, two alive and one passed already. Mm -hmm. Passed away. Okay. And, and what? she grew. She grew up mostly from this village. This place. Mm, from this place. So was what was her husband's occupation when he was alive? What was he? No, pasala ti la na kan jian so an ha tuan ka jian so si. Dek pei na dek. Dek wang ma. Dek wang ma. Dek wang ma. Dek wang ma. No, no exact job. Uh -huh. Like everyone, every most of them are here doing no exact work. They do different mm -hmm. jobs. Yeah, if there is one job available, then they will do. Mm -hmm. And that work is done, and no more job. And mm -hmm. they go to the hill sometime and mm -hmm. do some, find something, mm -hmm. so that they can sell. Mm -hmm. No permanent job, I mean. I see. Okay. Well, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Mm. That, uh, can can ma thay do mi ra kum mot kasi. Amu thay nu amu thay mi ana hil nu mi ma. Yeah. Ah, yung mandang la chum chuang la chuan me sabang ding kan nay la. She doesn't have any special words mm. to say, but she wants to make a small request. That is, she doesn't have uh, light. Or what do you say? Light. Light in the night. Okay. <laughs> this uh, this house is where she lives, and she lives. Does she live by herself? And tell us it, about. You talk. He me in the can narak um. She lives by herself here and she has no other place to live. <laughs> okay. And unless there's a lot of uh, branches, and is, is that for. Cooking or what is that for exactly? It depends on things that they hear. Can rap mui yang ranga so na mang pum ti mo na. Zordinga mo mo. Roson nak ti. Roson nak sa ka. To zorte zor mo zor. Zor lao. Zor te lao. Zor lao. Zor lao sa ka. Just for. Cooking mm -hmm. <laughs> firewood mm -hmm. to use as firewood. Okay. All right. Well, I think uh, if there's something else, I think we're I think we're that's good. We're thankful that uh, she's a part of our church and and that uh, God has uh, shown her the truth in the in the scriptures and and um, and that God's using her as a part of this, this congregation to be a blessing to others. And mm. we want to thank her for her service. Uh, Come on, come on.